You know, since 2007, we've had a number of 10 win seasons. As a matter of fact, uh, that's five in a row that we've raised a record $10 million. Led by last year under uh, campaign chair Tim Kittner, we raised $10.58 million. Uh, kudos to that team. And you know what? To see what 2012 is looking like, let's go to general manager Lois Bunce and see what she thinks of the future. We've had some really great players over the years. Rockwell Collins, Transamerica, General Mills, and of course, the Hall Pride Foundation. They've delivered some really big hits to give us a winning season. In fact, 65% of the hits we get come from our fans and 35% from our corporate contributions. You know, most United Way teams in markets our size don't have the kind of winning seasons we have here. In fact, they only raise three or four million dollars. And on top of that, our batting average on collections is over 98%. Amazing. This year, I'm really excited because we have a terrific team. Mark and Kathy Gullickson are going to be our team captains and big hitters. And Ron Olson's going to be our pinch hitter. And I know they're going to deliver a winning season for us, for the kids and families and seniors here in Eastern Iowa. So let's get started and play ball. It's been satisfying to work with the United Way these last few years, and I'm confident the United Way is going to continue to do great things for our community. One of the ways they're going to do that is with the Touch Tomorrow campaign and the five million dollars that they're trying to raise. This hits for the future of our community. I play on the United Way team, and United Way helps about 99,000 people in our community. I believe in United Way, they help our neighbors. United Way is awesome because they support health, education, and financial stability for our community. This hit is for educating tomorrow's leaders. Last year, United Way invested more than $2 million in our community partners to help nearly 15,000 children and youth succeed in school, work, and life. With our many community partners, we start helping children and families at birth with free books, education, and play groups that help ch build children's literacy skills and help parents engage with their children's learning. We're committed to partnering with parents, schools, and community groups to build a better tomorrow for our community's children and youth. I'm proud to be part of the Women's Leadership Initiative, which provides uninsured women who need prescriptions, medical, and dental care. Last year, this society raised over $190,000 for women in need. This hit is for all those women. Last year, United Way invested over $1.85 million in our six county service area. It made a difference. With the independence and well being of almost 66,000 people, and we're committed to getting out ahead of the root cause of health care issues, like adverse childhood experiences. We invest now, we avoid the big cost down the road. It helps to our resiliency, makes us a healthy, thriving community. Today I'm squeezing in a hit for financial stability. Helping families earn a good income helps our whole community. Last year, United Way invested more than $1.85 million in our community partners. That money went to low-income families to satisfy basic needs, stabilize them, build skills, and grow their incomes. We've also seen success stories in our K-PACE training program, which is a partnership between Kirkwood, United Way, and community businesses. Those stories include K-PACE participants who've already increased their earnings because of the program. The Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program completed more than 1,500 tax returns, returning more than $2.4 million to our community. Oh, I'm not playing. I just volunteered to be the Batgirl. Yeah, I volunteer a lot, but so do so many other people. This year, 63,000 people in the Cedar Rapids area volunteered. Think of all the nonprofit groups that wouldn't be able to function without these volunteers. This year United Way helped organize more than 85,000 hours of service for volunteers. 
which is valued at more than $1.8 million. Sorry, gotta run though. This game's over. Hey Kevin, who are you calling already? Ron, I'm calling 211 for a friend who was unfortunately just laid off. Well, you certainly are a good friend, Kevin. But did you know that 211 is now searchable online? It launched in January and over 22,000 searches have been counted at firstcallforhelpiowa.org. Well, how cool is that? I'll check it out. But you know what? Let's get out of here for now. What a great game. Okay.